More water restrictions were announced for Xinju, Miaoli and Taichung on Wednesday for immediate effect. Water pressure will now be lowered for residential households all day long instead of overnight only. In addition, non-industrial commercial users of water, such as car wash operators, will need to reduce their consumption by 20 percent, up from 11 percent. The tougher rationing comes as water supplies continue to drop, reaching below 13 percent capacity at several reservoirs. In Xinju, Miaoli and Taichung are water pressure reduction measures which were being carried out from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., will now be implemented for the entire day. With the drought worsening, the Central Emergency Operations Center has announced that in Xinju, Miaoli and Taichung, effective immediately, residential water pressure will be reduced all day. A total of 1.34 million households will be affected. Commercial users of water, such as pools, car washes, saunas and spas, will have to cut consumption by 20 percent, up from 11 percent. A total of 1,066 commercial users will be affected. All the science parks have their own water reserves, which have a supply sufficient for two to five days. Controls are tightening as reservoirs dip to perilous lows. Levels at 2nd Baoshan Reservoir, Yonghe-shan Reservoir, Mingde Reservoir and Deji Reservoir have all dropped below 13 percent capacity. At Li Yu Tan Reservoir and Zhengwen Reservoir, levels are below 16 percent. Supplies are dwindling day by day, and authorities are not optimistic. Before the end of March, we will increase the amount of water we send into Xinju. Our goal is to bring it up from 225,000 tons of water per day, which will ease the demand on Baoshan Reservoir and 2nd Baoshan Reservoir. Taiwan Water Corporation will adjust its water station network as needed. Access times will be expanded to the weekends and holidays for those with appointments to collect water. The shortage is growing dire in central and southern Taiwan, especially at the far ends of the supply network and at higher altitudes. The Taiwan Water Corporation is working on supporting these areas with more water stations and water truck deliveries.